It is an honor to meet you. It's nice to meet you too. And thank you for coming to see about us. Oh my goodness. Now, you're, you're an 11 year old scientist, which yeah. is amazing, first of all. What grade are you in? I'm in ninth grade at Thomas Jefferson High School for Science and Technology. Well, all right. What is it like being in a high school at, at 11 years old? So for any of you young Sheldon fans, it's pretty much exactly like that. Like I'm just dodging in between a bunch of giant kids and pretty much that's how it is. But I have a lot of friends yeah. and the courses are the perfect amount of challenge for me. So I really love it there. Amazing. Congratulations. Now your nonprofit is called Linda's Lab. Can you tell us more about that? So my nonprofit is run with two main goals, and I started it when I was just five. But its goals are to solve world hunger with mealworm protein and improve science education in schools. And one of the ways I'm doing that is through my larva library, where teachers can borrow small tanks of mealworms to show their classes the life cycle and then return it to my lab when they're done. And I'm also doing it through my motivational speaker and author events that I do in public schools and libraries. And, and there's the end. Uh -huh. And one of the ways I raise money for my nonprofit is by making STEM bracelets. And I actually made two special for you. I get to have one. So. Oh my God, thank you. I get both of them. Thank you so, so much. One you, says thoughtful. made of stars, which is perfect because all, all humans were made of the exact same elements that came from stars. So we're actually made of stars. And you're definitely a star. Well, all right, thank you so much. I see you're wearing a lovely bow tie. What inspired that? So my bow tie collection started when I was around five years old and it's grown and now I have over a hundred bow ties in my collection. Okay. But it all started when I first started wearing a lab coat, people kept asking me if I was a nurse, but I was a chemist. So when I watched Bill Nye, because that was one of the first TV scientists that I ever saw, so when I started watching it, I noticed that he was always wearing a bow tie. Mm -hmm. And then young Sheldon came out and he was always wearing a bow tie too. So I started wearing a bow tie and over time it grew to be a part of me and now I use it to show my personality. That's amazing. You've done a lot of things even at five. <laughs> like it's amazing. So you've always admired Bill Nye, huh? Yeah. Yeah? What's your favorite thing about him? When you see someone on TV versus reading about them in a book, mm -hmm. you feel like a little bit more of a connection. Mm -hmm. So Bill Nye, he was the first one that I actually saw on TV. Mm -hmm. So I grew a special connection to him and he became one of my major role models. Wow. And do you realize right now, young kids are watching you as a scientist on TV in this very moment. So we're about to do an experiment, huh? But you know, Linda, I'm not a scientist like you. you I think you realize that by now, huh? <laughs> yeah. So I think I need like a trusted assistant or something to help me, you know, I need a good assistant. I can help. Well, I know I got you, but then I think I need a little extra help. What about legendary Bill Nye? How about that? What you think about that? Bill Nye! It's so amazing to meet you. Hi. Hi. Thank you for being here, Bill. It's so good to be here. Nice tour, I'm gonna say. Very sure I'm proud you guys. I love your show, The End of Nye. It's so amazing. I, I love your work, my dear. Look at this, what do you got? This is gonna be exciting. It's already exciting, you're here. Linda, what do you think? Check it out, Jennifer. I'm, I'm trying to be like you guys. Put, yes. Only thing is I don't have a bow tie. Well, when you get a little older, see more in the room. <laughs> do you see her face? She's in awe right now. What are you thinking right now when you see Bill? She's like, what's your thing? What are you thinking? You have been my major science role model for, since I first got interested in science, and it's That's just so, so cool. incredible to meet you. It's so cool. It's great to see you. I she put my heart and soul into that. Having a moment. How does that make you feel when you... It's just cool. With you guys, I try to get it. I try to understand the influence of the show. You know, it's getting on 30 years ago. 
And, uh, you know, we made it in a warehouse in Seattle, just kind of messing around. And it, it's just the goal of the show. 1993. There were people alive in 1993. You may not believe me. The goal of the show was to, dare I say it, change the world. And so if you, as a chemist, can uh, find ways to feed people everywhere, that would be a pretty cool thing to come out of the TV show I did a long time ago. So thank you. Three, two, one, pour! Now let's move that. <laughs> If you like this video, smash that like button and subscribe to the Jennifer Hudson Show YouTube channel. Check your local listings or visit JenniferHudsonShow.com to see when you can watch full episodes in your area. And don't forget to sign up for the newsletter.